In today's video, we're going to configure an email notification in a Jenkins pipeline using the Mailer plugin. Are you new here? If you are, welcome. And if you are new here, you don't know who I am. My name is Darren Pope, and I'm a developer advocate for CloudBees. Everybody loves email, right? Right? Okay, maybe not so much. But when you're using a Jenkins controller, sometimes an email is helpful. And as we go through today's video, we are going to look at how to use the Mailer plugin to send simple emails anytime we have an issue. Here's what we're running today. I have a Jenkins LTS controller running version 2.277.1. When it was installed, it was installed using the Install Suggested Plugins option, which included the Mailer plugin. We also have an agent with the label of Linux connected to this controller. And finally, we are going to be using SendGrid as our SMTP service for today. As we get started, here's how we're going to set up SendGrid. This is my SendGrid account that I'm using today. And it's actually really simple to set up an SMTP relay within SendGrid. All we have to do is click on the email API and then click on integration guide. Once this renders, we're going to see SMTP relay. That's what we're going to need to use when we are configuring our mailer plugin. So if we go ahead and click on choose, What I'm going to do is follow the instructions. It's a very simple one, two, three. So I'm going to call this Jenkins SMTP as my API key name. I'm going to click on Create Key. And watch what happens down below here. So when we click on Create Key, it created a key for us. And if we scroll down, now we need to configure our application. Here is all the information that we're going to need. We have a server. We are going to use SSL, so port will be 465. The username that we're going to authenticate with is API key, all lowercase, and then here is the value, the API key is going to be our password. So let's go over to our controller and set this up. So I'm good, going to go over to Manage Jenkins, Configure System, and I'm going to scroll down just a little bit to begin with. Before we actually set up the Mailer plugin, the one thing I want to go ahead and set is the system admin email address. And you can see here, I have set this one to Jenkins and a no reply address. Yours may be different, but the default is just nobody at nowhere or some variation of that. So I'm setting a real email address here. You may want to be able to accept replies or not. That's your choice, doesn't really matter. But right now I've set this to a no reply address. Now to configure the Mailer plugin, we need to go all the way to the bottom of the screen. If you've installed other plugins, you may have other fields below where we're getting ready to head. But what we're looking for is email notification. This is the configuration section for the Mailer plugin. So we need to set up our SMTP server, which in our case is going to be SMTP grid, sendgrid.net. I'm not going to set a default user email suffix, and I'm going to click on advanced, and then I'm going to check use SMTP authentication. Our username is going to be API key. The password is going to be our key that was generated, so I'll go ahead and copy this. We need to select Use SSL, and the SMTP port is going to be 465. Let me double check that. And yes, 465. We have a reply to address that we could set. I'm going to leave it empty for now and leave the default character set to UTF-8. Now, the other thing that we can do here before we actually click on Save is we can test this configuration. So what I'm going to do is I am going to send an email to my personal email address. We'll click on test configuration and let's see what happens. 
email was successfully sent. Now let's see what happens if I messed up and used an incorrect username. So I'll just call this API key one. And if I click on test configuration again, we can see that it failed to send out an email. And we received, in this case, an authentication error, which says bad username and password, which we know that because I just messed up the password. Or actually, I messed up the username, not the password. So let's fix that username again. Let's just make sure that it still works correctly. So we'll click on test, test configuration one more time. And email was successfully sent. So by doing that, we are sure that our authentication is correct with our SMTP server. And in a moment, we will go check what the email looks like. And we can see here that this is a test email number three sent from Jenkins. We can see that it was sent with the no reply address and it was sent to me. And this was exactly what I was expecting to see. Now that we have validated our test configuration, let's go ahead and click on save. At this point, we are completely set up and ready to start sending mails from our job. So let's go and create a simple pipeline job. So we'll say new item and we will call this mailer test. I'm going to click on pipeline and click OK. Let's go ahead and scroll down here and I'm just going to start with hello world. And I'm going to change my agent any to label Linux because that's the agent that I have connected to this controller. And for the step that we want to use, I don't know what the syntax is. So we can figure that out pretty quickly by clicking on pipeline syntax. And the step that we need to use is called mail. This is a very simple step. It's just mail. And this is going to be using the configuration that we just set up under email notification. So in this case, I am going to set up a two to my personal email address. I'm going to set a subject of this is a test email using mailer. And the body is going to be, this is the body of the email message. Now we could click on advanced, which I will, and it will show you we could override the from, we could override the reply to, the mime type, the character set, these are all the different settings that we can set. But I don't care about that. I'm going to keep it simple. Who am I sending it to? The subject and the body. Very simple email. Let's click on Generate Pipeline Script. And here we can see here is our mail command. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and go back over to Mailer Test and paste it in. And then I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup. Since BCC isn't being used. I'm going to go ahead and take that out. I'm also going to go ahead and put an open parentheses on there. You don't have to do that. I like doing that. I'm going to also remove CC and from because I'm not using those and reply to just to clean it up. So I have a body, I have a subject, and I have a, if I can get it to move over, which I'll just do this. I have a body, I have a subject, I have my two. And since I put a parentheses on the front, I need to put a parentheses on the back. Let's go ahead and click on save and do a build now. Got the blue ball. And we can see here there were no errors. So let's flip over to our email client and see what happened. And here you can see the output of this email. This is a test email using Mailer. This is the body of the email message. So we received the email that we sent from our job. And that's it. Very simple to set up, very easy to use. In my example, I was using SendGrid today as my SMTP relay. You could use your own SMTP server. You could use another service, or maybe you could just use PostFix that's running on your Jenkins controller. 
All of those options are valid. The reason why I like using a service like SendGrid is it gives me some analytics that I can track in case I'm having other issues. If you're just using PostFix, you can get logs. It can be a little bit more to dig through. It's up to you. Bottom line, you'll need an SMTP server. Whichever one you want to use, go for it. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBeesDevs. If this video was helpful to you today, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there is new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.